size super simple recipes number 16 banana fritters the main reason I'm doing this is to introduce a tempura batter which we all use for some other recipes <clears throat> got a banana one banana is plenty for one person peel your banana when you can get the skin off Cut it in half, and then split it lengthways. Now, this batter recipe is the simplest tempura I know. I like simple, because then I don't have to keep looking up bloody recipes. So, one heat of corn flour. to two of plain flour. Pinch of salt. And the trick is, you need sparkling water, ice cold, I've just taken this out of the fridge. Don't go mad with it though because you don't want your batter to end up too thin it doesn't have to be perfectly mixed either I've already got the fryer up to temperature come on you little swine I have a lump stuck in my mixer. And you want to get it to a stage where it will coat the back of your spoon. That way it's not all going to run off. And then I'll just pop the lid back on there. Straight in with your banana. Straight in the fryer. These will take almost seconds to do actually. And what you're looking for is colour. You want them to start to take on a, a golden brown appearance. Just move that out of the way, pop that back in the fridge. And I'm going to serve these with some ice cream and a cup of golden syrup. Thank you. 
They're virtually done now. Let them drain well and you find that that's a lovely crisp batter on there. You can drain them on a bit of kitchen towel if you feel it's necessary. Oh, perfect. Little drizzle of golden syrup. We'll pop those with some ice cream. Job done.